Hey, welcome back, America, to your cable data science channel. This is Friday, August the 6th, 21. A big shout out to the six people who did watch this video yesterday. Thank you so much for those six views. Now I have a, uh, a favor to ask. Okay, a couple favors. Uh, okay, three favors to ask. But anyway, the first favor, of course, is click on that subscribe button. Secondly, if you find this report, this report helpful and illuminating, click on the like button. Third, and most important of all, click on that share button. Share this video today on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts. You should also, when you post on your Facebook and Twitter accounts, be sure to tag your friends and family in that in that post, okay? So I'll just, I'll just mention now that also that uh, I'm changing the way I'm, I'm tracking Ohio numbers. I'm really, on, at this point, I'm, uh, I'm only going back to uh, July 1st of 2020, which is, so it gives us a 12 months rolling average of uh, COVID-19 deaths. Now, we need to remind ourselves that uh, COVID-19 data is being recorded differently from diseases like heart disease or cancer, okay? With those, every other disease, every January 1st, we, the number, those numbers for those diseases is reset to zero. But yet with COVID-19, we're counting cases and deaths beginning with January and February of 2020, which of course just gives us a massive continue, which means that the, we can be guaranteed that cases are going to continue to go up. Okay, so I'm going to say this report. Some people disagree. I'm going to say again, don't be too, don't be, don't panic over case numbers because COVID history, the reason I say this is because the, if it's true that the COVID-19 vaccine is designed to keep you from dying, okay, keep you from dying from COVID-19, but not keep you from getting the COVID-19 virus, then that means, in theory, every single man, woman, and child in America could be vaccinated and the COVID-19 cases could, could, could continue to increase, Okay. But of course, if, it, if cases continue, as long as cases continue to increase, the news media is going to be allowed to, to beat that drum, as the old saying goes, is, is beat that drum and constantly uh, point out the, the most negative reports they can on COVID-19. All right. So anyway, let's go and get started here. So, so far, since uh, January 2020, we've had 35.4 million cases, 615,000 deaths. Now, here you can see, obviously, the red line is 2020, the blue is 2021. Here you can see that we saw this increase up in cases continuously back in 2020. But in 2020, we had a long declining pattern. Now, we are seeing some, some stuff here for 2021, but, you know, again, at the, if, uh, this, remember, we started vaccination back in here, in spite of the fact that our, 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 our total vaccine numbers are starting to rise, cases are continuing to go up. And they will continue to go up because the vaccine doesn't keep you from getting COVID-19. Deaths, we saw an increase in deaths from, from, from February up to December 31st of 2020. But yet, so far this year, COVID-19 deaths have decreased. Okay, so now, so if you look at the twelve months, look at the previous, if you look at the previous twelve months data, we can see we do have a big spike here. One hundred ninety-four thousand six hundred eight cases. Well, that's really strange. What about all these? Uh, again, you know, the vaccine doesn't isn't going to the vaccine isn't going to necessarily going to affect the case number. Okay. So for August, and so August on August fifth, we had one hundred nine thousand eight hundred twenty four cases. For seven twenty nine, we were averaging for the seventy period ending July the twenty ninth. We were averaging 
807,000 cases a day. Is that really right? Huh. Okay, now here's the good news. Or much better news. You can see that we had a spike here, but don't panic over those spikes because it immediately dropped back down to this range down here. So you can see on August the 5th, we had 535 deaths. For the seven day period ending July 29th, we were averaging 370 deaths. So again, we got this volatility here. So daily numbers, it's hard to understand what's really going on by looking at the daily numbers only because of the volatility, but it does appear. Well, and what appears that maybe it's starting to creep up here a little bit, but look at this nice long declining pattern in deaths. And you can see, yep, we got an increase of four, four or five week increase up here in, in, in weekly cases, but look at weekly deaths. Weekly deaths are below, are, are averaging uh, 2,000 to 2,500 deaths per week, okay? Monthly cases, you can see the monthly cases have been pretty low since February of 2021. Definite decrease in, in, in cases. And look at deaths. One, two, three, four, five, six straight months in a row when we had COVID-19, a decline in COVID-19 deaths. And that, that really is the port, that really is the most important number, at least according to Washington University. Okay. You can see here, so this is the number of COVID-19 cases. So you can see, let's let's just say let's you know, just say right now, 25 for every 100,000 people in the U.S., 25 have COVID-19. And this this is you know a half, this is a quarter. So we can say right now, uh, for every 100,000 people in the U.S. that have COVID-19, one fourth of a person, one fourth of a person is going to die. Okay. Now, you know, this, this is where you got to be careful because, again, this is total number of deaths to date from January 1st of last year, from the first case to the first, up to the most, from the January, uh, when, when back when, uh, total number of cases back when the first case was reported back in January 2020, all the way up to here. But what we're looking for, we're looking for a flattening of the curve. But suppose the curve never flattens. Suppose the curve never flattens for cases and data. What are we going to do? We go, we go permanently lock down the country, never let businesses open back up? Anyway, sorry about that. Any, anyway, America, that concludes your report for today. Be sure to come back on Sunday when in addition to the data report. We'll also be doing a weekly COVID-19 vaccine rollout report. So anyway, uh, also don't forget to click that subscribe button, the like button, and most important of all, click that share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter account today. Thanks so much for your time, America. We'll see you Sunday with an updated report.